and welcome to Ready, Set, Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, I hope you're doing well in your business at the moment and I am here to give you a hand. Um, this is a project that I know you and your customers are going to love to make. When I showed my customers this, they signed up, they filled a class instantly, they filled a class of 18 instantly, and I'm doing some at home as well, and yeah, and I, I looks like I'm going to have to put another class on, so I think your customers are going to like this as well. Um, the point of it, and the idea of this design, is you can teach this anytime, so whenever you're watching this video, if there's 12 by 12 paper in the catalogue DSP that you can get hold of and some cardstock, you can teach it. It's made with um, US letter or A4 size cardstock, so we're not having to use uh, 12 by 12, which was a challenge for a design like this, but I've done it. Um, and you can use any 12 by 12 paper. It takes one sheet of paper to make the box and then you can um, use the rest of the paper to do some of the things inside. So I'd better show you inside, shouldn't I? We have a little drawer that opens at the front like so, and then it opens up, and I am calling this a stationary bureau. Let so let's have a little closer look. Um, this is obviously done with the expressions in ink paper and certainly works really well with these. Um, pretty much any paper, foiled paper, perhaps a little better because you can use a bit of, um, of coordinating foil with it. Um, but to be honest, any pretty paper is going to work. So you've got um, a nice shaped box. As I say, the drawer pulls out and it's nice and substantial. This is nice and strong. Um, then we open up the front and then inside you have places for um, regular size cards, mini cards, a pen tray and then in the drawer at the front we've got envelopes, we've got tags, uh, we've got uh, greetings and we've even got some uh, a third of a strip of dimensionals in there so if you're gifting this um, the tags can go onto the cards. Let me show you now um, a closer look at the cards, which are really nice and simple. So here's a look at all the cards. Um, as you can see, what we've done is we have left um, used leftover foil. We're using one sheet of foil in the class. And the leftover does um, four of the cards with a foil layer and then DSP. And the others we are using um, off cuts and one sheet of the um, early espresso in, in my case, but you can use any uh, card color of your choice. And I've done these on basic white cards. Um, I've kept them really simple so that we can do both the box and all the cards in class. But if any ladies are a little bit slower, they can obviously easily take these home and finish them because they're literally just layering up. Um, we are also including, as you saw, um, some greetings. So this means that the if you're gifting this or if you're using this yourself, of course, because it's gorgeous and I don't want to part with it. But if you are gifting this, then you can use any of the greetings on the cards. So you can use um, them on wherever we like. Let's look at this big one here and we can have a little hooray up there. So I'm obviously using the double oval punch here to create these. All of the greetings are made with offcuts from cutting this project. Um, and then by putting them and keeping them in separately, um, you can use them, use the cards just as note cards or use them for um, birthdays or other occasions. And um, they look really, they look really sophisticated, I think, um, especially with this foiled paper they look absolutely gorgeous. So what do you think? Is this a project you would like to make and teach? Um, 
it is what I would call a retreatable project. So if you do retreats, this is definitely a wow one that you could do to retreat. Um, equally, um, if you wanted to do a shorter event, you could just make the box at class and your customers could take all the pieces home to make the cards at home because they are quite simple, as we said. So I hope you like the cards as well. I do think it does make a real wow project, something even you could do at a retreat as well as at a regular class. The other thing, as you'll see, is you can absolutely teach this remotely. So um, I picked up some new customers who are not near to me uh, during the pandemic. And so they still want to do classes. So this is definitely um, a, a nice big um, project, a with, a with product class that they can do at home um, with minimal supplies. So that is that is really good. So actually, although it looks like a really advanced project, you can, can do this with beginners um, by teaching teaching it step by step. So how much am I charging you for this class? I am keeping it at the same price because I know we have financial challenges, particularly at the moment um, as I'm filming this. So I don't want to put more challenge to you, um, but I do think this will help you make money in your business very well. You can buy this class for just £10, which is around about 14 US. Um, depending on what PayPal's doing. Um, and then you can go ahead and teach it straight away. Um, the things you're going to need are some, em some envelopes, some foil, one sheet of DSP for the um, outside of the box and some DSP for the cards. Um, and cardstock of your choice, nine sheets of cardstock of your choice. So it is a great one to teach. You can step it up in terms of um, how much you want to charge because you can include a full pack of DSP um, depending on the right price point for your customers. But you can actually do this with just half a pack of DSP if you like. Um, you can get away with six by six because but you would need to do something slightly different on the inside. I'll mention that in the videos, um, but I would suggest 12 by 12 is going to make your life a lot easier and it's going to have a better finish um, with the 12 by 12 paper. So included in your £10 class, you are going to get obviously the video showing you exactly how to make this box step by step, um, all the measurements, um, worked out for A4 and for US letter. Um, so most things work for both, but there's a couple where they don't. And obviously the cards are different. So um, I've worked that out um, for both. Um, it's all the measurements are in inches. Um, what else have we got? We've also got a um, an ordering sheet. So everything you need to order. Um, for the class and as I say some notes on um, pricing as well. People always ask me about pricing um, and it is one of those things that it's it's up to you, it is your business but I can give you some ideas about what I'm charging um, and we're all, you know, we sometimes we have a, um, a venue that you, you're paying for and sometimes not so you adjust it for you but there's some ideas there. Um, as requested I always try and try and help um, where I can. Also included are non-logo photos. So um, you can use that for advertising and you can even use it if you want to um, put pictures in for your customers, perhaps who are doing this at home um, so they can see what they're doing. So I've, I've have a, actually put non-logo photos in there as well. So if you'd like to order this class, um, you can look at the link that is down below, um, if you're watching on YouTube, that will take you to my Ready, Set, Demo blog, which is where you will find all my classes um, and also various other training topics and build your business topics for you to uh, watch if you are interested. If you're already in Ready, Set, Demo, um, then look down below um, underneath this post and you will see um, the PayPal button to order the class. Um, I send the class out as soon as I receive the payment from PayPal. Um, if that is while I'm sleeping, because we're in different time zones, I will send it off to you as soon as I wake up. So thank you very much for visiting Ready, Set, Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room today. And good luck with teaching this class. I just know you and your customers are going to love it. Bye.